greenhouse today. I brought in some dianthus flowers that had been sitting outside. Um, well, this is this is chives, and these are dianthus, and this is another type of dianthus. Um, this is, uh, I believe, china pinks, and I don't know what these are. It's some kind of perennial that my husband brought home from work one time. <coughs> Excuse me, and um. I'm also trying to um, do some winter sowing, which um, which you do at any time during the winter season, the fall. I guess really mostly the winter season. Um, I'm trying to put up my tripod here so you can see. Anyway, this is gonna work. Alright, so I think that's good. Anyway, so... <clears throat> excuse me. So I mixed up some, some soil here. This is some old soil, which I mixed with some, um, some seed starting mix that I got from, um, what do you call it? Dollar Tree. This is a dollar for this bag. I think it's, um, 0.2 pounds. So that's like... I don't know what that is, 0.2 pounds, um, I don't know, two tenths of a pound, whatever that is, so, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, yesterday when I went out to the, the mailbox, I found a packet in the mailbox, and I was like, well, gee, I thought I'd ordered everything, I thought everything I ordered had come, but apparently I forgot all about this, um, this packet of ramps that was back ordered and it's a good thing they remember because I sure enough forgotten I would have completely gone through most of the season and probably not even thought twice about it. So anyway I'm gonna plant these now in here and ramps are a type of onion um, or wild leek actually is what they would be classified as but to me they taste more like onions. <clears throat> they kind of look like like a fancy reddish reddish maroonish um, colored scallion they don't really look like leeks except that they don't really form much of a head but they taste a whole lot more like onions than they do leeks so I would call them wild onions <clears throat> excuse me except of course they're not um, any case, well, they're all in the Allium family in any case. But anyway, this is the first time I'm planting these. I got these from Fedco Seeds. And they sell a lot of uh, unusual type varieties and unusual type seeds. I've never seen ramps sold ever, seeds or anything. <clears throat> but they're becoming very popular. They're like, um only available during the spring, like the the middle of the spring, because they they pop up in the moist woods and um, people scrape them up. <clears throat> They're actually becoming a little bit um, scarce because people are over over uh, harvesting. So um, I guess that's why somebody got the bright idea save the seeds and start selling them so anyway I also have here some Caucasian mountain spinach which is something that I got from Fedco seeds um, anyway I'm not really sure I've never grown this before but it basically is like a vine <clears throat> excuse me which, um, which I'm planning to plant along oh boy a vine in my backyard. I mean, I'm sorry, a fence in my backyard. Oh, this is great. It comes with this little envelope, but all the seeds are still inside this, the packet. So, anyway, I'm going to plant some of these. Um, about half of what was in the packet. <clears throat> um, they're supposed to be very heat intolerant so I'm trying to get them planted 
as soon as possible. As you see, I told you I'm gonna do winter sowing. So with the winter sowing, you plant the seeds in your little containers and then you cover them with like some kind of clear plastic or something like that so that when you poke holes so that water can can go in and it can also evaporate out. <coughs> Excuse me. So um Take this bag and I'm gonna put the uh, seedlings in there. <clears throat> and I'm doing this just to demonstrate what I'm doing because I'm gonna put this outside. But I'm just gonna stick these in a bag. I'm gonna put them like on the ground, poking holes in the, the top so that water can go in and it can also come out. I'm also gonna them. There's a lot of noise right now. <coughs> I'm also going to pull holes on the bottom so that it doesn't become waterlogged as it rains or snows or whatever. So, in this way it can rain, it can snow, it can be dry for long periods of time, but because it's moist in the bag and the, the water is going to sort of recycle itself <coughs> when the seeds germinate they can also grow in there at their own pace so anyway so that's that I also have here some seeds that I saved from the bottom of my seed container <clears throat> excuse me every year maybe not every year maybe every so many years I go into my seed container and there's like a whole bunch of seeds that um you know, get basically displaced because uh, they fall out of the packets or whatever. <clears throat> and then, you know, they're old. So I don't know what germination rate they are. I don't really know what all it is. So what I'm doing right here, right now, is I'm going to plant this year for the chickens. I'm just going to sort of steal an idea from a couple people I saw from Sapper Gardener and Babette Cross. Uh, Babette is in the gardener. Babette is in the garden, that is to say. And um, I'm not winter sowing these, although I could. Maybe I'll put one outside and leave one in here. But what I want to do is um, have these, as you can see, I only put a little soil in here because what's going to happen is that I'm going to love allow the seeds to germinate and grow a little bit and get to, you know, maybe a couple inches. And then when they get big enough, I'll just give the whole thing to the chickens. And they can have a little snack, a little treat. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these in here because they'll germinate better. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm gonna put these outside. So, that's my little tip for today. It's what I'm doing. So I hope that um, hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I guess I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.